All right, we're doing it again. Okay, um... <coughs> Hi, everyone. Because of the last video, people... Well, people liked it. It smells like paint. <laughs> you definitely don't sniff it. I'm going to be trying something else today. So today, I'm going to be trying a nose pore strip. Two of them. Um, yeah. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 As far as I know, nose pore strips, they remove stuff so it can help your sinuses. I, th I think it's helpful if you've got like a blocked nose or, or maybe a hay fever. I'm thinking we put both on at the same time. Maybe then that'll get rid of more. Okay, so we have two of them. I think I'll go with this one first. There are instructions, but I think I'm gonna avoid those. It seems pretty straightforward. It's a nose strip. You put it on and then that's it. This just looks like a mustache. Once you want your nose, you put it on. And then you force it on, like that. Oh! The charcoal one is no good because it doesn't stick properly. So that's a fail. This one says you have to wet your nose. I did that, but it didn't work. So we're gonna do it with this one instead. Maybe this one will be better. It's the same shape as the other one, but the other one wasn't as good. Okay, and then you wait like this. You roughly need to wait about 10 to 15 minutes for this to work. So in the meantime, you could do something else. So now that 10 minutes are done, the process is to remove the strip. None of these work. If you ever want to use a pore strip, don't use T-Zone skincare, um, yeah. So if you'd like me to review any other types of things or try stuff, uh, let me know and then I'll give it a try. But the review of this is that the T-Zone skincare is not that good. For both of the products, they're not that good, yeah. Um, if you did like this video, uh, let me know and um, peace.